So today I want to talk about special characters and how we can render those in web pages. There are character entities built into HTML which make it fairly easy to write it out in HTML, but the process is different between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, how you get these special characters to render. On, uh, on my keyboard, I don't have, for example, a yen character. And, well, my keyboard's limited to uh, just over 100 keys. I'm not going to have most of the 16,000 plus characters that are available in Unicode. So if I want to write in other languages, I either have to change my keyboard, get an overlay for my keyboard so I can start typing with it, or learn what those character codes are, or copy and paste the text into my HTML. HTML can be solved relatively easily, but then when you start getting into rendering in JavaScript and rendering in CSS, it becomes a little bit more difficult because it changes the way that you can actually write those characters out. So let's do the example using the yen character. I have here in my HTML, I'm rendering out the, the yen character in red. This is how I'm doing it. There's three different ways that we can do it. There are character entities that use a decimal number, so the number 165 in decimal. Put the ampersand, a number sign, and then the four digit number, or you can just write 165. This will work actually without the zero in front of it. So ampersand, number sign, 165, semicolon. That is what I've written in my HTML. Come over here and look. There it is, 165. And without the zero in front of it, this is still going to work. I still get the yen character here. If you know what the number value is, say you've looked it up in the Unicode tables and you have the hexadecimal version, not the decimal version of the number, well, same sort of thing. The only difference is that you put an X in front of it and it needs to be the four-digit number. So ampersand number sign X00A5. That also renders the Y. It's just using hexadecimal instead of decimal numbers. And for a lot of the characters, the more commonly used ones, there are actually shortcuts. There's abbreviations for them. So ampersand YEN semicolon, that will give me the Yen character. The ampersand itself, the way I'm getting it to write out on the page, I'm writing this, it looks like, which is the abbreviation to render this. The way I'm doing it is I've told the HTML that this ampersand is actually a special character right here, like this. Ampersand, A-M-P, semicolon. Ampersand is one of those special characters that you have to give the character entity for. The greater than, less than sign, so that's the opening, closing, angle brackets on tags. Ampersands and quotation marks should all be converted whenever you're writing them inside your HTML, like here in my title. I put an ampersand, so I should write it like this. Okay, so those are the three different versions that we have in HTML. The decimal numbers, the hexadecimal numbers, and the abbreviations. CSS and JavaScript, we have to use the hexadecimal version. We can't use the decimal number, so you do have to know what the hexadecimal number is. We're going to work with the yen character again here. In my CSS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to target this span, and then I'm going to use the after pseudo element, like this. So inside the paragraph with the ID 4, it has a child called span. Inside the span, rendering the pseudo element after, I'm going to use the content property. This allows me to actually put some content inside there. So if I wrote that, come back in, that's what I'm getting. There it is. Now, I don't want that. I want to put the yen. And I can't just write in like this, 00A5. I can't use the character entities because this is what I get. Well, I'm missing the semicolon, so even if I add the semicolon, there it is. The CSS does not interpret these character entities like this. 00A5, that is the correct number, but in my CSS, I have to say that this is actually an escape sequence. I don't need the semicolon, but at the end, I put a slash like this. This is the escape sequence saying that whatever comes after it, the rest of the string, is an escape sequence. And there we are. There is the end character. 
using the hexadecimal number with the backslash in front of it, it will be interpreted as hexadecimal number converted into whatever character that is. Now if I want to write out 0AA, uh, 00A5, like this, I can't do that because that's going to give me two yen characters. What I will do though is I put another slash in front of it. There we go. So now the slash becomes the escaped character. And I can put a space here to space the two of them apart. There we go. So this slash, this backslash, is being escaped by putting another backslash in front of it. That means that the rest of this is just normal text. So there we are. There's in CSS. That's how you render a special character. And if you wanted to write out the value from CSS, that's how you do it. All right, our last one, the JavaScript. How do we render that one? Well, once again, we need to use the character entities in the hexadecimal, sorry, the hexadecimal value of the character entities. Inside of here, let's say I'm going to say span.textContent. Uh, right here, there's nothing inside of it. So that is going to be equal to, well, we can just experiment. We can try the different ones that we've used. Here's the, the CSS version. If I do that, I'm not getting anything. Refresh the page, A5 is what I get. So the slash 00 disappears and I get just the A5. Well, that's not what we want. So we can try to render it, well, it's text content, so let's try one of these. Do ampersand, number sign, X, 00, A5, semicolon, there's the full character entity. And again, it just renders as text we need to deal with escape sequences the way JavaScript deals with escape sequences. So we know that that one is not working, and it's the same for these ones as well. They fail too. Inside of here, we know that that one failed. That was the CSS version. But backslash u, backslash u tells it that this is a Unicode character, and then it takes the rest of this as the number. Now we don't want the semicolon there, but we do need the five. So this becomes a four-digit hexadecimal number being interpreted as Unicode. And there we are. There is our Unicode character, just like that. So those are the five ways that you can render these special characters, characters you don't have on your keyboard, or even ones that you do have on your keyboard. If you want to use character entities for them, you can. You just need to know the number. In HTML, we can use the decimal or the hexadecimal or the abbreviation, if an abbreviation exists. We can always use the decimal or hexadecimal. CSS, it's just the single backslash and then the four-digit hex number. And in JavaScript, it's backslash u for Unicode and then the four-digit hex code value. And then we have it. There we go. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.